Hello everyone and welcome to this new Atos Smart tutorial. My name is Matteo and today I'm going to introduce to you probably the most powerful feature that our programming software can offer you in order to make diagnostic on the entire Atos digital range, the oscilloscope. Let's go in detail. The oscilloscope function allows you to monitor in real time the behavior of the proportional valve, the axis control, the PQ control, or SSP smart servo pumps you're commissioning, allowing you to reduce startup time and make troubleshooting much easier. Since we're talking about a real-time functionality, the software must be in online mode with the driver in order to perform acquirement with this tool. If you need additional information on how about to connect the Atos programming software to your specific Atos device, watch first the related video on our channel. In our case, for demo purposes, we have already connected the Atos programming software to one of our DLHZO servo proportional valve. And if we look over the computer here, as you can see, oscilloscope function can easily be accessed simply by clicking the dedicated icon on the pop-ups area or directly by clicking F4 button on your laptop keyboard. As now displayed by the software, it is important to specify that there are two different types of oscilloscope. The periodic oscilloscope allows you to carry out a short acquisition with fixed and constant sample time and with the possibility to trigger the acquisition according to a desired condition. Acquisition duration at most a few seconds. The continuous oscilloscope, on the other hand, allows the user to make longer acquisition but with a variable sample time and without the possibility to trigger the acquisition. Acquisition duration up to 10 of second or minutes. The minimum achievable sample time in this modality is 20-30 milliseconds. We therefore recommend to use the continuous oscilloscope when you want to have a quick overview of the working cycle while using the periodic mode when you want to analyze in detail a specific part of the cycle. Both the oscilloscope mode use the same graphic interface. For the today tutorial we are going to select the periodic one. When opened this is how the periodic oscilloscope window looks like. And as you can see, we have two separate tabs on the top of the page. The configuration tab on the left allows us to map all the signals we want to plot during the acquisition. And if we scroll inside the folders, we can view all the graphable signals of the device we are connecting with. In our case, for instance, we are going to plot the demanded and the actual position of the valve spool. But if we want to add a new signal on this list, we can easily do that by selecting a new signal on these folders and by double-clicking on its signal, it will immediately appear in the signal list on the right. At the same time, we can remove one of those signals simply by selecting it and clicking Cancel button on your laptop keyboard. Once we have finished configuring our signal list, we can move to the second tab, the Visualization tab, and through this parameter we can set acquisition sample time and duration. It will be also possible to apply a trigger and perform multiple acquirements, always with the same starting point. Once we have adjusted this parameter, we can execute an acquirement simply by clicking on the play button as shown. Once the acquisition has been carried out, it is possible to add or isolate signals from the graph by acting on the panel configuration menu, accessible through this dedicated button. Zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right functions can be easily accessed by clicking Ctrl or Shift button on the keyboard and dragging the mouse pointer on the screen. All the detailed shortcut legenda can be easily accessed by clicking on information icon as shown. Last but not least, I would like to specify that it is always possible to save or reload this acquisition simply by clicking on the dedicated Save and Load buttons in the lower section of the oscilloscope window. By saving the acquirement, the software will always create two separate output files, and one of these files will present the .lvm extension. The .lvm file, which is basically a text file, can be loaded into an editor program or plot using MATLAB or Excel softwares. At the same time, I can now reload a pre-existing file by clicking Load button. The second output file can also be reloaded in offline mode by the Atos programming software, and therefore without being connected with the valve. The detailed description of all the additional functions of the oscilloscope, such as axis setting, trigger settings, and more graphical features, 
are always well explained in the user manual accessible at any time through the documentation page directly from the software or on your dedicated My Atos area on our official website atos.com. Thank you for watching and see you in the next Smart tutorial.